Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about templates in Django. So let's first have a look at what exactly is a template. A template in Django is a text document or a file containing some HTML markup with embedded Django template language for generating dynamic web pages. So in other words, we can say that a template is nothing but a simple HTML file in Django. Now let's discuss about the features. The first feature is variables. You can pass variables from your Django views to templates and display them using the template syntax. These curly braces are called as interpolation. So if you want to fetch the value of a variable from your function onto your template, then you will be using the variables inside the curly braces. Then you have the dynamic content. Templates allow you to include dynamic content in your web pages such as you can use variables that we have already discussed. You can use loops, you can use conditional statements and many more. Then we have another important feature that is Django template language. Django provides its own template language which is a lightweight, expressive language specifically designed to work with HTML and hence allows you to dynamically generate content and control the flow of your templates. Now let's discuss about the template tags. The template tags are actually a part of the Django template language. So Django templates use template tags which are enclosed within the curly braces and inside which we have to use the percentage symbols. This is used in order to execute the logic such as loops, conditional statements, including other templates. Then another important feature is template inheritance. Django supports template inheritance where you will be allowed to create a base template within common elements like you can have headers, footers and you can inherit the properties means you can extend it in other templates. So kind of means you can uh, inherit the properties in other templates. Hence making it easy to maintain a consistent layout across multiple web pages. Now let's come to the Django template language which is, which is an important feature in Django. The Django template language is special code that you can put into your HTML files in order to make them dynamic. It allows you to add things such as variables, loops and conditionals to your web pages so that you can change based on different conditions or data. And next one important thing is that we have to use template tags as well, which is already discussed. Django templates use template tags where we enclose uh, the tags within the curly braces and we use the percentage symbols. In order to work with the templates, you must create a folder, the name templates that should be inside my app that is your application so once you create this folder now within this folder you need to create one html file let's say the name of the file is you can put anything let's say it's home.html or any other page let's say about us page.html or contact us page.html so we have created one file now within this file just for testing purpose you can specify one h1 tag and let's say this is my first template this is my first template right now how to render this html page for this you need to go to the views.py file and you need to write here def let's say home and we need to pass the parameter as usual that is uh, request so you must return and this time we'll be using the render function render function accepts three parameters first one is the request parameter second one is the html file that you want to render and third one will be the dictionary but we don't have a dictionary at this point so we can see once that is there any other okay so we already have a function named home 
uh, let's do one thing we can change the name of this function to home one right and now we need the url so within this url we are going to write path and we need to specify the url let's say it's home one and the function that we want to call it is views dot home one okay now so let's run this We need to write python manage.py manage.py run server. That's nice. It's it's working. So we are going to follow this link. let's specify the url that we have written over there that is home home one so at this point it shows that it does not exist uh, the point is that uh, we have not specified the templates in the settings.py so that's the reason it's not able to render it we need to go to settings.py inside the my project and you must find the templates list that is here you can see that inside this we have uh, a dictionary inside this list we have a dictionary where we have the key value pairs for this dirs that is the directories we have to specify templates directory right now it should work so let's check out Okay, so uh, it's still right. We need to once again run the server. Let's check. Once again, we are going to run the server. Right, and let's follow the same link. Again, it's not working. Now, let's see how we can work with dynamic templates. So, let's have a function as menu. Pass the request parameter and let's say we have a dictionary with the name menu item and we have a key and value pair that is the name of the item. The name of the item, let's say it is noodles. Let's render, return, render, request and now the name of the file. The name of the file this time we want is menu.ht and a third parameter will be the dictionary that we have just created that is menu item so dynamic template means that we want to fetch some data from the function and we want to show it on the template so we want to fetch the value of this menu item that is name of the item noodles on the html file that is menu.html let's open menu.html and in the heading we will try to fetch the value of this menu item Let's write value the item name is. So we have to use interpolation that is within curly braces we have to specify. So what do we have to write here? We need to write here the key that is name. Whatever the key is mentioned, the same key we need to specify here. So uh, that's it. We are ready now. Let's now type the path for the same path and let's say it's menu dot menu let's check for errors so no errors you can see now the menu that is the item name is noodles so this works for us let's take another case let's say this time now you have a large amount of data it's not just one dictionary it's not necessary that you just want to display only the names of the items Maybe you want to display their prices as well. Maybe there are multiple items. It's not just one. So for this, we are going to consider another example. Let's say we have another function with the name new menu one, menu one. And within this, we are creating a list of dictionaries. So this looks 
a little different from the previous example. We have more data this time. So we have this time multiple dictionaries. When we have multiple dictionaries, we need to create a list. Okay, now after this, we have to render, render the file name, the menu one.html. And the third parameter should not be new menu because new menu is a list. We have to specify a dictionary. So we need to write in the third parameter as a dictionary. We can specify the key as anything that you want while the value will be specified as the name of this list. Now let's render the values inside the menu one.html. Now within menu one.html you have to use the directives. Let's say we want to display all the items along with their prices in the form of a table. So we will first of all create a table and within this table we will be using some border. Take border as one. Now use the template directives in order to render which is represented as percentage symbols. We want to use for loop for this. We will be writing for a particular item. For this we can write just item in and then the name of the dictionary. Name of the inside the dictionary uh, parameter we have specified the key as names. So we have to write names. And now since our for loop is ready, we also need to end this and for. Our for loop is ready. We need a repetition of all the items so that it gets traversed through all the items. And we also need to repeat all the loops. So we have to write the tr tag within the within the for loop, specify the td tags, and now we have to render these items. Now, uh, since uh, inside this new menu list, this particular dictionary is representing one item. It is representing one item. So for this, for, for, the, for, the, for a particular item, we have to specify item dot name and come to another one that is td to write item dot price right so let's go to the urls and paths and we need to write anything let's say it's menu one and call the desired function menu one Okay, so let's check the result for the same. We need to write here menu one. Great, so this works. Let's consider one more example. Now let's consider another case where we want to show only those items which are free of cost. For this condition, we will have to use if statement. So we need to come to menu one.html and write down the if statement within the Django template language. So you must use curly braces, use the template tags and write if item dot price double equals to. So the string that we have used is free. And we also need to end this if statement. By using the same template tags, you need to write end if. Now let's see if there are any errors. So no errors. Let's check the result. So you see that we already got the result that is garlic bread which is free of cost. Now let's consider another case where we want to show only those items which are free of cost. For this condition we will have to use if statement. So we need to come to menu onehtml and write down the if statement within the Django template language. So you must use curly braces, use the template tags and write if item dot price double equals to so the string that we have used is free and we also need to end this if statement by using the same template tags you need to write end if now let's see if there are any errors so no errors let's check the result so you see that we already got the result that is garlic bread which is free of cost.